I was 18 years old, and I met him in Stuttgart in Germany. I was competing in the Junior Mr. Europe competition, the best told man of Europe competition in the junior division, I was 18. And Franco was competing in the powerlifting championships in the lightweight division. So he won the lightweight division and became the European champion. I won my division, the junior championships of European bodybuilding. So we were standing up there on the stage together with another fellow in the heavyweight division, so there were four of us standing up on the stage. And uh, I started talking with Franco and then I said, I said, you know, I really admire your strength. It's fantastic what you did, Boris. Uh, where do you live and where do you train? And he was telling me that he was living in Munich. Uh, and training in Munich. And I said, and I said, well, after I'm through with my military service, I want to come to Munich. I said, so that maybe we can become training partners. And so this was kind of like our agreement that uh, when I come to Munich, I will be training with him. And so when I went to Munich, I started training with him. And the, the bottom line was to work a great partnership because he admired the muscles that I had and I admired the strength he had. And so he started getting one point of bodybuilding. And I started getting more and more powerlifting. And so he really helped me so that I could deadlift eventually 710 pounds. I never could deadlift as much as I could. But, uh, but uh, you know, in, in our friendship, then he started competing and he became Mr. Europe and Mr. Universe. And then we started competing against each other uh, for years in bodybuilding. And, you know, we helped each other, we were training partners. And uh, so he was just a very unique person that, uh, that I actually, when I went to America, I was over there for like a few months and I said to myself, you know, I cannot find training partners like Frank and Colombo. So I asked Joe Weider, who was my sponsor and brought me to America, who was the publisher of the Muscle Magazines, and who was like the Muscle Guru and was you know, building gymnasiums and uh, magazines and food supplements and all this stuff. And so I said to Joe, I said, Joe, I said, I'm going to have Frank and Colombo come over here and be my training partner. Can you go and send me on that ticket? And then Joe Wiener would say, he says, uh, who is this guy? And I said, I was showing pictures. And he says, no, he's too little. <laughs> he says, I like big guys, you know, the big body fellas. We have enough little guys out there. I said, no, no, you don't understand. This guy is not little. I mean, he's making high price I said, but this guy is big. He's really powerful. He can bend steel bars. He can blow up hot water bottles. He can deadlift <laughs> more than I do. Adventurous more than I do. I said, this guy is really powerful. I think it would be fantastic over here. Then you would have someone that wins in the tall man's category or anyway, and one in the short man's category. I said, he would be humble. So I talked to Joe later and eventually brought him over. I, uh, I was successful in, in hyping Franco. And it was like, really amazing. And from that point on, we trained together in America. And of course, there was no money in bodybuilding. So we would win the competitions, and Mr. Universe and Mr. Wimpy and all that stuff, and he would win powerlifting championships and the, the competitions. And uh, you know, we started a construction company, literally. And this was all going on at the same we, time. We, 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 because he was a bricklayer. <laughs> Franco was a bricklayer, he was a hardworking guy, and, uh, and, and he taught me how to make bricks, and he started a construction <laughs> company, and we started making money. And I was the one in charge of make, make creating the estimates and uh, you know, buying the material, and he was in charge of hiring manpower, and we had an aunt, like 18 bodybuilders working for us. And uh, it was a great But what happened was we started this construction company, and then literally a year later, uh, we had an earthquake oh. in, in California. So the, now there was the chimneys falling down, and there was the cracks in the walls, and patio, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, tiles were broken, and all this kind of stuff. So we got phone calls, we had an ad in the LA Times, in the newspaper, that said, European bricklaying experts, and amazing specialists. <laughs> the, Americans, the Americans love when oh, they say yeah. European. <laughs> So we added a European Italian basically group and this and that. And so we got all these phone calls. Yeah. And uh, we made a lot of money and we saved a lot of money. And uh, it was fantastic. And today, bodybuilders don't understand. They just want to hang out on the beach and they think that they should have 
you make money and they don't have to work. I always tell them, I said, hey, the only way you make it in life is if you work your ass off. You got to work or work or work. Thank you. 